The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 481 Just Stop Looking. And it just straight up asked me, hey, you want to do this? All in my head. Said something about permanent physical changes or something. I don't remember. I was too busy trying not to be scared senseless. Like, don't mess with my mind, please. But then I don't even know how to begin processing this. It's so stressful, Amber. Valise slumped on a hotel cabin rooftop, not feeling like soaring around the chilly sky. It had taken a frustrating amount of searching, but she'd finally been able to find a power source for the soundstone a tourist gift shop that sold batteries. Expensive ones. She didn't have her money or saddlebags, but for all her past fruit swiping, she felt bad enough about herself already and couldn't bring herself to add to that. Three to four hours of passing herself off as a traveling acrobat later. There's not something I can magically say that will make you feel better, is there? You could maybe try. A very chance the hopeful smile. Amber hesitated. Well, if Moonglass is no good, which you already knew, and you think bad ponies were made by some spooky mare in the moon, which you already knew, isn't all this just repeating stuff you knew before? There's nothing about any of that that says you're not able to decide for yourself whether to be good or bad. It's not fair, though, Valise slumped flatly against the rooftop. Y'all are stuck in a, a body that lets her see and hear and talk, just like you, Valet, Amber interrupted. Maybe her body is something that was built for another purpose. Maybe yours is. Maybe mine is. Who knows where all other life forms came from, other than that we've been around thousands of years. And who cares? Valet, if you want my full and blunt opinion, this is a good thing. Because it doesn't tell you anything about what you get to do with your life, doesn't tell you anything you hadn't considered, and also gives you a potentially powerful last resort weapon that you can use, and now that Windigo doesn't have any more. Valet rolled the dark crystal around at her other hoof. It wasn't inert. She could feel something there, like a dusk statue in broad daylight. But it was leaving her alone, unless she explicitly called it out. I wish I could be there to see you in person to talk to you about this, because I'm worried there's something else going on. You're getting down about, well, hearing that bad things happen in the world. But you knew that, and I think something else is bothering you that's just showing up through this, and I want to know what it is. Is anything else wrong? Please tell me. Bananas, I don't know, Valet set up. This is the second time this trip I've been forcibly separated from my friends. First time, I thought they ditched me. Now, there's a non-zero chance they think I ditched them. Now, I'm at some getaway resort with an insane Wendigo, and I honestly can't tell if she's so stupid she didn't realize she'd make herself sick or deliberately wanted me to have this nightmare thingamajig without looking like she was giving it to me. I finally take a single step toward getting my sister back when I think everything's stable, and then the place explodes in my face! I've been given tons of reasons to be paranoid, but have no idea what's going on in this valley, or even an idea of whether or not I should care, and that just makes me more on edge, because in Iron Ridge, the way I got by was by knowing everything. It was practically my catchphrase. Oh, and now? I finally get the answers to some questions I've been asking for a really long time, like about where I came from, and what I am, and all that garbage, and it's just kind of confirmation on what I already knew. Garbage! I don't know if I'm even sad about it at all. Being this fuzzy bad pony that doubles as some moon mare's activation system for running whatever these things are. Maybe I'm just underwhelmed because I spent so long wondering and now that I do find out it's for no work whatsoever and kind of just not even a surprise. You know? Amber was silent. Oh, Filet sighed and lay back down. And you want the big one? Don't forget the part where everyone hated me in Iron Ridge and now everyone hates me in the Empire too. Just because Bat Pony. Except, you know, the one place that's totally run by a weird, creepy Bat Pony who's totally not up to anything. Bananas. Maybe we really were used for something bad in the past and there's like some societal memory or something. Stop, Amber commanded. Stop and answer just this fully. You think Bat Ponies were made to use these nightmare modules? Or the other way around. She hesitated. If you do, and you think maybe something happened because of that long ago, you'll go investigate. And when you somehow find something that matches your expectations, you'll feel just like you do now. Maybe bad things just have happened. You can ask Maple about that one once you see her again. She knows about bad things too. So, do you really want to wonder about that? I want to be proven wrong, Valet whined. 
bananas. I don't know why I keep thinking myself into situations like this, but I want to find something that says everything really was all right. So you can feel like things could be good in the future, too. Valet sniffled at a stone. You need a hug, Amber said. For me or your friends, not the Wendigo. Yeah, Valet wiped away a tear that was caught in a bridge of her muzzle. Seriously, I know I was miserable in Anridge and just convinced myself otherwise, but this is no fun. I hate moping. It doesn't make me feel like me. I gotta get up and do stuff. But it sounds like what I need to do is just let go of the possibility that all this Moonglass stuff happened for a good cause and just... I don't know. It sounds like what you need to do is hang on until I see you again and until you can get back to our friends, Amber insisted. You can do that, right? You can make it? Valet sat back up and sniffed. <laughs> something like that. I want to say Starlight's moving toward me, but honestly, she's so far away I can barely smell her as is. I always wondered why I can do that. Anyway, not poking around into bad pony history or nightmare modules or any of this stuff until I'm out of hot water. I can do that. Hanging on and all that. What do you want me to do instead? Well, you're at a resort, aren't you? Valet could easily imagine Amber shrugging. Would it be too much to ask for you to stay there, take it easy, and enjoy yourself for a while? Keep an eye on the window, but try to stay safe and keep anything big from happening? Relax and enjoy myself. Got it. Valet grinned. Seriously, if I can get past the other clientele, I want you badly enough that it might just work. Love you, Amber. You're the best at pep talks. Amber gave a tired sigh. I've had a lot of practice with a certain other mayor in my life. One who is currently on an adventure with you in the Empire. And it's a little draining sometimes, even though you're the one in danger, and I'm the one in a place to provide support, so please take care of yourself and try to be all right. Love you too, Valet. The soundstone winked off as Valet pulled the small battery she had purchased away from it. Oh, that was a nice feature, at least. No need to waste power on time they wouldn't spend talking, and a partially charged battery would last to serve her another day. Battery, nightmare module, soundstone... She really needed some saddlebags. It wouldn't do to keep all this in her hat, and the soundstone would likely accidentally activate if she tried. That would have to be her goal for the next day, because the sun was setting, and she was tired, and puddles would undoubtedly have to be dealt with again before she slept. End of chapter 481